I've been documenting every day of my life since January 1st, 2020. That was a while ago. Today is... 680. Today is day 680 out of 3,653. I figured it's when I hit upload and have something to show that I get this raw excitement. And this is something I realized because despite recording these videos every single day, all I had was just a bunch of raw video clips sitting there. Most of them were just me talking to my future self. Have a good one, future me. Hope all is well. Uh, future me, have a good one. Hope all is well, future me. Well, have a good one. And it's not so much the urge to upload so that I can get views or make money. It's for my future self to have something to look back on. So why put it online where everyone can see it? Because it's fun. Welcome to social media. What, uh, what do you want me to- You know, the first thing I get asked is, do you actually make money with the views you get? Yes, I make enough money to buy a couple rotisserie chickens every month, so... Ah, uh, monetizing a hobby is awesome. But I mainly do it for fun and because it gives me something other than schoolwork to say, yeah, I put time into that and now I have something to show people or even for my future self to look back on. I don't really have a goal in mind or anywhere I want to be. I mean, 100,000 subscribers would be cool, but right now I just want to focus on filming my everyday life. I want to make mini bloom films where when people finish the video they say, what else has this guy made? Videos that are bigger than just me, something that means something to other people other than me and my future self. I want people to feel like they could take something away from my videos, but as an 18 year old who makes videos like this, I don't know how to not sound cliche or cheesy like I'm trying to teach a lesson out of Judy B. Jones or the Magic Treehouse. I don't want to be a YouTuber. I just want to be able to tell stories and catalog my personal growth. Hopefully for someone else to learn something along the way. Ironically, for someone who makes videos, it's when I stopped using all social media that I genuinely felt so good about my real life. And that's just about the most Gen Z thing I think I've ever said. <laughs> What I really found out in these last two months is that I used to be self-conscious about walking around my hometown with this camera. Here, nobody even gives me like a second look because it, it doesn't matter. Everyone's trying to just do their own thing. And that's something I realized is that you don't need to care what other people think. Because by the end of the day, the only person you're stuck with is yourself. What I'm beginning to realize is I won't succeed on YouTube, at least not by the usual definition of success. I upload infrequently, my thumbnails are admittedly atrocious at times, and for such a small channel you would need a lot of patience to stay around long enough to understand the premise of the 10 year project that I'm doing. And I'm okay with that because sometimes just making these videos to look back on is enough to make my week. And that's the real success to me. Hey, what? What, what do you- I I thought we were trying to not be cheesy and like teach lessons like it's a kid's book. It's ridiculous. You made the script. What are you talking about? Well, it's just like being successful is being happy and fulfilled. It's ridiculous. Uh, being self-aware doesn't make this any less cheesy. Mm. It's actually a little absurd that you're talking mm -hmm. to yourself through means of a computer okay. screen. Right. Bye, bud. Some nerve. Who does he think he is? This is my video. I try to post whenever I can, but even though I record every day, I don't want to share every moment online, so let's see how these next couple of videos go. This mic is not even plugged in, and I don't want to redo the outro, so with all that said, if you like the idea of this project or you want to see more, hit the buttons down below. You know which ones they are, and have a good one.